Today, I'm going to show you how to create Weasley Wizard Weezes Wonder Witch Cupid Crystals Love Potion. Okay, so to make our Weasley Wizard Weezes Wonder Witch Cupid Crystals, we will need one glass bottle, and I am using a smaller glass heart-shaped bottle, and this one came with a cork, and I actually would rather it have a glass stopper, so um, I have purchased a bunch of these extra glass stoppers, and I'm going to use that instead of the cork. We will need some light pink metallic acrylic paint, some rubbing alcohol, a Zig Memory System glue pen, and this is the two-way pen. We've used this before, um, so we will need this. Then we will either need some gold glitter, or we will need some gold embossing powder. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, bottle three different ways, actually, depending on what you have. Um, and then we will need a compressed air, um, and I got that one at the dollar store. It's just one of the electronic dusters. It's just some compressed air to help us with our glitter or embossing powder. Some um, pink floss, and this is that little floss string that you can make necklaces or bracelets with, things like that. We're going to make a tassel out of it. A piece of cardboard to measure our tassel. A dryer sheet. A cooking skewer. Potentially a heat gun if we use the embossing powder. And our labels printed on sticker paper and the link for these is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so as I said, with our bottle, we'll be able to embellish it a couple different ways. So I wanted to make sure there were some different options so that you guys didn't feel compelled to have to go out and buy a heat embossing gun. Um, now, I got mine at Michael's with a 50% off coupon, so I think I paid $5 for it. So definitely not a huge investment for something that works really well for a lot of different things. Unfortunately, with the embossing powders, you cannot use a... Um, Hair dryer, it just doesn't get to the right heat. It ends up blowing most of the powder off and just doesn't work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use the heat gun. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, have no fear. I have given you multiple options. So I have given you a label that just is um, printed, and you could easily just stick this onto the front of your bottle, and it would give you a really great look for the um, Cupid Crystals. If you want to take this up a step further, we could actually add some glitter onto this to just kind of give it a little bit of a bump up. The other option is everything I'm doing with the embossing powder, you would be able to do with the um, glitter and the Zig pen. So we're going to use the Zig glue system pen to actually um, adhere and draw our design onto the bottle so that we can emboss right onto the glass so we can get a really great um, look that is very similar to the one from the movie. Like I said, if you don't have an embossing um, gun, then you could do the glitter instead. So I'm going to show you how to do it with the embossing gun, but by all means you could do it with the glitter. It'll give you a very similar effect, um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys know you have several options to be able to create this look, so don't feel like you need to go out and buy an embossing gun. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the lid off of my bottle, and I'm going to take my um, template here, and we're going to actually curl it a little bit and stick it inside of the glass bottle. Now, to get it positioned where I want it so that I can use it um, to draw from, I'm going to take a paper towel or tissue, whatever you have, and I am just going to put it inside to hold my template in place. Okay, once you get your paper towel almost all the way in, leave a little out so it's easier to pull the paper towel out when you're done. This is where the cooking skewer comes in. We are going to use it to position the sticker exactly where we want it, or the sheet of paper, so then that way um, we can use this as our template. Okay, so as you can see, our template is in there. We'll be able to use this to trace on the front of this with our Zig pen. And um, the paper towel is just holding it in place. So then that way I'm not actually using any adhesive or anything like that on the inside of the bottle. So um, it won't be difficult for us to remove the insides to be able to put our fluid. Okay, so now that I have my bottle um, with the stencil in the background in place and my Zig memory glue pen, 
I'm going to go ahead and trace the lines and then I'm going to sprinkle the embossing powder over it, dump it off, emboss that particular area, and then continue until the whole design is done. Um, now, before we do any of that, um, it's important to take your um, dryer lint sheet. This is one of those like, you know, static ones. And you want to rub your entire bottle because it will actually help to release the unwanted embossing powder off of your surface and that works for paper or anything so um, I went ahead and rubbed that so now we can go ahead and get into it Okay, so now that we have all of the embossing done, I'm going to take the paper towel and the stencil out of the jar. And as you can see, we are left with our embossed love potion bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let our bottle completely cool before we fill it with the liquid because it does get a little bit warm when we use the um, heat gun to do the embossing powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our piece of cardboard and our floss and we are just going to go ahead and start to create our tassel. So to do this, we're just going to wrap the cardboard and keep in mind, make the size of the cardboard the height that you want your tassel to be. Um, the longer it is, the longer your tassel, etc. So we're just going to wrap this all the way through. And I think that's a pretty good thickness for our um, tassel. And I'm just going to take our scissors and cut the end. And then we are just going to slip our string up a little bit away from the cardboard so that we can then take another end of our string here and just put it under that. And then I'm going to knot this. And once we get it knotted, we're going to go ahead and slip this off of the cardboard. And now we are going to take this and we are going to do the same thing we do to a lot of the tops of our bottles. And we are going to wrap some cording around it. Okay, so now we are going to take an extra piece of string and make a loop. And then we are going to take that loop and go around capturing that loop around the top of the tassel. And we're gonna create that banding that goes around just like we have on the top of a lot of our potion bottles. and then just push it through your U and pull in our initial bottom one to tighten. And then pull that top part 
behind our wrappings. And then we can just trim these flush. Okay, and now we're going to take our ends down here and go through all of them. And we are going to cut all of our loops. And once we get all of our loops cut, then we can just make sure that all of our ends are even. And once we do that, we have our tassel. Okay, so now that our embossing is all done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add our alcohol to the bottle. And I'm using a funnel just because this one's a little bit smaller and I don't wanna make a mess with the alcohol. And then we're going to take our light pink metallic paint and we're just going to put some in here. And I think that's good. And then we're going to cap it up. Once we get it capped, we're going to shake it up. Okay, and once we get it shaken up, we get this really great pearlized swirling going on in our Cupid Crystal Love Potion. And now we can embellish. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our tassel and we are going to figure out where we want it to sit. and then we're going to tie it on. And then we'll just trim the end. And now we're gonna add our Cupid Crystals tag, which I just put some of the same cording through to be able to tie it on. And once we get our tag on, which has the Weasley Wizard Weezes logo on the back, we are all done. So there is your Weasley Wizard Weezes Wonder Witch Cupid Crystals Love Potion. This is a perfect addition to our potion collection we've been making along the way, or just something nice to have around. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.